Hi, welcome to CMMC Automation. On this channel, we share with you tips on how to automate your CMMC compliance efforts using ChatGPT to save your company considerable time and resources. My name is Derek Phillips. I am the president and founder of Aspire Cyber. We specialize in helping small defense contractors prepare for their CMMC assessments. Also, I am a certified CMMC assessor and instructor. Let's get to the content. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to automate your CMMC compliance activities for AC.L2-3.1.14 remote access routing. This practice focuses on ensuring that you're limiting those remote access points. So for example, if your organization has people working remotely, maybe have multiple offices, you can limit the remote access, making sure you're routing all remote access to the headquarters office, for example. We're in the CMMC level two assessment guide, 3.1.14, route remote access via manage access control points. Have two assessment objectives. You see that this practice complements five other practices. So we've gone through 3.1.12, 13, now 14, also complements 15, and also IA 5.3 and MA 3.75. So these all kind of mean complement each other regarding around remote access. We're going to consult our trusty resident CMMC expert to see how we can satisfy this practice. So we're in the same chat that we've been using for all of these practices for CMMC. And we're going to start off with providing chat GPT that primer, even at that context. So then, okay, we're working, we're going to be focusing on 800-171 practices and assessment objectives. Looking for concise responses that include administrative and technical solutions. Name the recommended solutions. Also give me example evidence that my company can present to external CMMC assessor to satisfy each assessment objective. I don't need a response for this prompt. So just want to again prime ChatGPT so it knows what the mission is. Ah, that's what I like to hear, ChatGPT. I'm ready. Let's get to it. Paste in the practice. So remote. Route remote access via manage access control points. So make sure there's organ if your organization is managing those remote access control points. Chat GPC says, okay, here's some concise steps. We're gonna first define those access control points. So usually gonna be firewall or VPN gateway, implement network routing, validate the control points can be done through network testing or traffic analysis. Use network security solutions, such as next generation firewall, and present evidence. So the evidence we're gonna have is network diagrams, configuration, showing that you have those access control points identified and managed. So list and actual solutions. So Palo Alto, for example, Zscaler, these are just some recommendations. First assessment objective for this practice. So ChatGPT is saying, okay, we've already given you guidance on how to do this, but hey, want to make sure that you manage the access control points. They're defined. You can set up a VPN. And remember, any response you get from ChatGPT, the more guidance you need. If you want to go into more detail, it's kind of beyond the scope of this video. You can just continue prompting it. So for example, if you'll say, all right, ChatGPT, how do I implement the network proto network routing? How do I validate the control? Well, you just get more and more guidance. Just con continue with the follow-up prompts. There's more guidance on VPN for managing access control points. Make sure we're identifying. All right, next, so remote access is routed through managed network access control points. So the next assessment objective for this practice. This can be done through implementing certain network configurations or firewall rules. All right, now that ChatGPT has provided us guidance on how to satisfy the practice and assessment objectives, let's prompt it even further to get additional guidance. So the next prompt I'm gonna ask ChatGPT is give me a practical example of how a small business will satisfy this practice and assessment objectives. All employees work remotely and all in-scope systems are in the cloud. The, the company permits BYOD, so bring your own device. Let's get this, a practical example from ChatGPT. So we need to first manage the access control points with the use of VPN or zero trust network architecture like Google Beyond Corp or Cloudflare. 
You can configure to force all network traffic from remote devices through a secure access point regarding a device location or network. So the BYOD adds a layer of complexity because you're dealing with a wide variety of devices. So we can use a mobile device management software like Intune or Apple devices. Finally, we're going to need a cloud-based identity access management solution like Okta, Azure AD. All these technologies can provide logs and report to validate that all remote access is routed via managed access control points. Make sure to regularly review these logs and report and monitor any unusual activities. So I think that's pretty helpful when you prompt ChatGPT for, hey, give me a practical example because that puts it in context for you. Say, okay, how can my small business actually satisfy the guidance you provided? All right, so as a certified CMMC provisional assessor and instructor, I'm satisfied with the guidance that ChatGPT has provided. I think it certainly would set an organization on the right track to fully satisfying this practice and assessment objectives. But obviously the guidance isn't going to implement it for you. You need to take that guidance and implement it. So that's why I'm going to close out this video with in chart format. I want to provide a project plan. So this next prompt in chat format, in chart format, I want you to consolidate all of the guidance that you're given for this practice in a project plan and include administrative controls and specific technical solutions. So we need to take the guidance we receive, put it into a, a chart format and take action. We have to implement the first redefining the access control points and documenting our policy. We also we're going to have our VPN solution or zero trust architecture to manage our BYOD devices. We have a mobile device management solution routing all of that, that remote access via those defined controlled access points. And then we need to regularly review and monitor. Just that simple, four steps, get to put into action. Well, there you have it. ChatGPT shows how to automate the compliance activities for 3.1.14. So we're controlling that remote access. We're making sure that all remote traffic is uh, routed through those designated access control points. All right, so certainly I invite you to leave comments. Let me know um, just how I can improve these videos. Also, if you have any recommendations for videos you would like to see me to create, I'd be happy to do so. You can reach me at dphillips at aspirecyber.com. I'm always happy to talk CMMC, answer any questions that you have. So till next time, I'll be back with 3.1.15. Thanks for watching CMMC Automation. I hope that you got a lot of value from today's video and you use chat GPT to automate your CMMC efforts. It's going to save your company a lot of time and money. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me at Aspire Cyber. Also, you can leave your questions in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe because it helps out this channel immensely. I really appreciate it and good luck to you on your CMMC journey.